The Air Force. Wasn't there a joke somebody just told? Yes, this morning. It was a terrible joke. It was kind of funny. I mean, it fit perfectly with my my idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, do you remember it? Yeah, it was something about... Uh, so it was a Marine telling the, the joke there. It was a group of Air Force depth personnel standing around with uh, two active duty depth recruit or two active duty recruiters. Uh, the joke went something along along the lines of there's four uh, military members standing there, uh -huh. an airman, a seaman, a marine, and a soldier. Uh, the, they were asked, what happens if a mouse runs into your tent? Um, the seaman, seaman says, um, I'd sweep it away, sweep okay. it out. Sweep it out. Uh, the soldier says, I stomp it and kick it out. Uh -huh. And the Marine says, I stomp it, cook it, eat it, and leave nothing behind. The Airman says, uh, that would never happen because I would be in a air conditioned hotel room. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> It was mildly amusing. Yeah. So I leave in for BMT in today is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So two more days. Um, why did I decide to join the Air Force? Well, there are a number of reasons. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Um, the number one reason I would say is because I need to be challenged. And I mean, I, I feel like I'm doing this whole military thing backwards. So for instance, most people join when they're maybe 18 to, to 21. Um, they're fresh out of high school. They're, they're joining so that they could um, get a free college education. Okay, fine, you can stop it now. So we only have two more days together. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty um, terrifying, really. Yeah, it feels very surreal. Yeah, yeah it's a, an experience that's um, odd because we're a little older mm -hmm. and we've already been away from our parents for a number of years. We've known each other for the better part of a decade mm -hmm. and we are doing this together as a interesting journey yeah so I feel like I'm kind of doing this backwards most people enter the military like Adam did when he was 18 yeah and um, so fresh out of high school um, and maybe going to try to get their college tuition paid, um, why else? Yeah, to look for an adventure. An adventure, to get away from the parents. Um, to show that you're an adult. Mm -hmm. Maybe to travel, maybe to meet uh, a future spouse. Um, so we're, so I'm older and I've already kind of done all that. I got the degrees, I had the the career in accounting, um, and so I'm doing this for more of a personal adventure before I reach that age where I can't anymore because of maybe physically I hurt myself or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that people will still be inviting and we all have to work in a team environment, but um, I don't know. Maybe I might have like old people cooties or something. <laughs> no one will want to talk to me because I'm the old person, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, I think it'll be good physical and mental challenge. Physically, you know, I can always use improvement, um, build more muscle and speed and all that. Mentally, I'm going to be an intel analyst, so that'll be very challenging. Yeah. And you know what? I've always enjoyed school. So the longer the the tech school, the better for me. Plus the longer ones, I get to go as a dependent. Yay! 
So realistically, we're only going to be separated for about eight weeks. Mm-hmm. And we've done that before because... In the summers. In the summers. I'd go... Uh, back, to back to Colorado mm -hmm. uh, for an Air Force, for actually an Air Force internship mm -hmm. uh, where I worked as a help desk support specialist. Yeah, so we've already had that time apart. He'd go away for like two, three months in the summer. So we're used to that, and I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. Um, and the fact that we've been together for so long. Yeah. Um, the opportunity to travel. I feel like this is a good time to do it. I, I think like a lot of friends and family are kind of wondering where we are on the baby front since we're getting to that age, yeah. right? And, um, you know, I've had a lot of good opportunities with the school district. I really had a lot of fun there. I learned a lot. I met a lot of cool co-workers. But I just kind of pictured the, the long term um, doing that for 30 years, and I just could not wrap my head around it. And I felt like if I, if I was pregnant, you know, I would be maybe in the back of my head saying, well, I kind of wish I did have another opportunity. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to live with regrets and, and right? it sounds kind of cliche, but you only get one shot at life and I want it, I want, I want to be challenged and excited and... On, a, on an adventure. Yeah, on an adventure. It's us, not you. <laughs> um, so there's also the connection with my grandfather that Adam kind of had and I wanted <laughs> which was well the military connection Her, your grandfather served during World War II in the US Army was a Purple Heart recipient during the Rome Arno campaign and um, he and I connected on, on a completely different level than family can because we have a set of shared experiences through the military. Even though there's 70 years apart, uh, there were things that we did that were common to both of us. That, um, uh, For example, basic training is something that's very common among all soldiers, airmen, seamen, uh, Coast Guard. Everybody goes through basic training and they all can talk about some some story or some instructor that uh, had it out for them. Um, so even though we lived in two completely different eras, there was still a, a connection of some sort. Yeah, and we started this right before my grandpa passed away. We started really considering the Air Force and talking about it and talking with the recruiter. But unfortunately, we didn't get to talk to him about it. Yeah. He didn't get to see me graduate or anything because he passed away almost two years ago now. Even though he said he was going to live till 100. Yeah, I was <laughs> shocked. I was honestly shocked that he did pass away. Yeah. But, so that was another reason, just to have that connection with, with my grandpa. Um, travel, a challenge. Um, it offers, I think, too, stability. I mean, even though, you know, we were very stable with the school and with uh, the careers that we chose, I, I, I think that the military kind of offers the ability to be a little adventurous, be a little wild, while still saving for retirement through their pension plan, and you still have a job. I mean, you've got a four-year contract that would be pretty tough to get you out of. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we like it. Yeah. <laughs> So I think those are the pros, right? The those are all the good things that we're looking forward to. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, I am nervous. I think that um, my age does kind of just kind of play into my doubts. Um, I know a lot of the people that I'm going to be with are maybe going to be a decade younger than me. Um. So and then they have more energy. I think um, they're faster, they think faster, they can react faster. So that's a, that's a concern I have, is my age. Um, what else? 
Well, maybe the four-year contract itself is kind of daunting because we've yeah. never locked ourselves into anything. Hell, we haven't even been able to commit to a new car. Yeah. Um, Still driving the same cars for like 10 years. Yeah. Um, we're just terrified of commitment. Surprised we're actually married. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing we've committed to. Uh, and I mean, we even bought tickets to uh, Medieval Times the other day, and you could not get refunds. You had to show up on that day at that time or else forfeit your money. And we were even hesitant to buy those tickets because <laughs> we had to commit to that time and day. Yeah. So that's, that's how committophobic we are. So that's a thing. That's one thing that kind of yeah. worries both of us, actually. So we'll be locked in to something for four years, but that can also be good for us because we have to see it through. It's something we've dedicated yeah. our time and money into. Really, being away from the Orange County area, we've been here so long. It's really it's home. So being outside that comfort zone can be scary. Yeah. And then, you know, also also the pay. I know that um, certain the base pay is taxable and then the BAH and BAS is not. But when you add all those factors in, and it, it, I mean, I think uh, it's less than what I was earning and for sure what you were earning. Um, two is... Well, you, you were telling me um, when we first started this back in 2014 uh, that um, you wanted a, a deeper connection to your grandfather. You kind of wanted to uh, experience a military uh, lifestyle uh, so that you have something to talk to your grandfather about. Yeah, because he was always, I knew he was always there at every, like, function, family function, graduation, birthday, holidays. He was always there, and, um, but to just be able to connect with him on a different level was, was what I was looking for. But unfortunately, he passed away, so I never got to do that. It's almost two years now. Yeah. But... Yes, because I saw him um, interact with Adam, and they had that the shared stories and uh, and all of that, and that's that's something that I wanted to to participate in too. 